Hello there, Gemini. Welcome. Okay, so this is an August reading for you guys. Let's see what's going to happen in August. Or if you're watching this in August, what's happening in August. Let's see. We have Invocation. Ooh. Then we have Summer. Now, this can mean something could happen in summer, but it also could be that something... um feels warm, feels inviting. And then we have here the shadow. Ooh, okay. We'll get more clarifying cards to see what's going on here. Just want to put the rest of these down. And we have here autumn. Autumn, autumn time, harvest time. And we have power. And this is cleansing. Yeah, someone's definitely working through something. We have the ethros. So this is the Wiccan read. I'm not Wiccan, so I don't, you know, I don't really understand a lot of this stuff, but I love the cards. They have a nice energy. I know this is like, you know, what you do comes back to you. I know that means that in the incubation, something is in the process here. Something is incubating. Remembrance. Uh, ancestors, remembrance. Okay, bottom of the deck we have here, alchemist. Okay, so someone is bringing something in. Oh, hang on one second. Okay, I just need to put off the air conditioner because I, I, I'm trying to do all these readings without the air on. So in between the readings I have the air on and then I turn it off but you believe someone still complained about the air condition and it wasn't even on <laughs> I think it might have been um, someone mowing the lawn or something but oh I guess some people they need to complain <laughs> I can't do anything about mowing lawns okay so and I can't wait in between because I'll never get these done and I'm working all the time on these so invocation so there's some kind of ritual so someone's trying to bring something in here uh, intention maybe um summertime during the summertime i have but someone is also doing some shadow work going deep within trying to um i feel like they're trying, trying to cleanse something because we do have the autumn which is harvest and um and then bring in some kind of power that is a cleansing a clearing a cleansing of intention here with this eth eth ethos so this is some like you know we create our own reality so you know be good to others and, and other things will come back good to you be bad you know whatever you put out there is going to come back to you and incubation someone is in the process of trying to make something come here make something make that was weird make something come here that might mean something to someone when my words get all mixed up i have what i want to say in my mind and then it comes out differently because someone switches it up my guides the angels i don't know somebody does well anyway remembrance Someone's remembering something. Ancestors doing something from the past. Okay, we'll see. We'll get more on this alchemist. Someone's trying to manifest something here. <clears throat> okay, someone wants to talk to you too because my throat is getting scratchy. Okay, so now the invocation. Let's see. And we have here. This is the Six of Pentacles. Trying to balance something out. Trying to... Um, I almost feel like someone's really trying to get compensated for something they did. And maybe they didn't get compensated, so they're putting out the intention that this is coming in for them. Okay. Um, something in the summer, too, or something. Sunshine, summer, warm. Oop. Card chop. Ooh, I like this. We have the Ace of Wands. Yeah, you're creating something. A very, a very good time here. I feel like there's a lot of passion, a lot of desire inspiration now why do we have a shadow here let's see okay because the ten of swords there was a painful ending this card wanted to come out too so i'll take it okay there's a painful ending and we have the knight of cups so it was someone that had a lot of love for someone and something happened where it ended here so now this this person might be doing the shadow work this could be a scorpio cancer pisces but it could be any sign so it feels like someone is trying to go 
and do inner work in order to come back to this connection or this could be your energy trying to figure out okay something ended that you really wanted maybe a connection with a water sign doesn't have to it could be any sign I'm trying to make something work here okay we have here a cat independence balance also very intuitive very psychic energy okay so now the knight of cups okay let's go on here what about autumn okay we have here the eight of swords someone is i feel like someone's focusing on harvesting something here mentally stuck on trying to make something happen in their head too much okay and the power we have here okay this is the eight of pentacles power working working on something having the power to do something here you might be very powerful at your work or what you do for a living or this is um you know i almost feel like whatever you do like if you have a a craft or a hobby or something that you do it feels like you you're really good at it okay cleansing what's going on with this cleansing okay we have the king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn whoa i just got someone's cleansing money now that's weird okay of course that's not gonna be for everyone but that was if you thought someone's doing something a little shady something about laundering money or something I, <laughs> that is for someone here okay they're doing quite well financially okay and here we have a heart with the peace sign in it someone wants to have peace with you um they have a lot of love they want to bring peace to this connection okay okay what about this the wiccan read here okay this is a seven of cups option choices okay so someone has options and choices you know it feels like there's an energy around someone that pulls them in and they don't like it because it's not a healthy energy it's not you know someone doesn't have the, the same ethics as this person that's trying to figure out how to do something here i almost feel like someone has a lot of love for someone but in order to be with them they would have to go against their beliefs their um their morals here and and they can't do that so i don't see this coming together because of that okay what about this incubation something is in the process something is beginning someone's trying to make something happen oh wheel of fortune divine timing destiny i think someone's trying to come back to you and they're trying to, to find a way of doing this now remembrance okay thinking about something from the past it's also ancestors here let's see mm, the commitment that they, that you had in the past with someone someone's deeply thinking about it they want to bring this back around and we have here the queen of pentacles okay so we have the queen and king of pentacles there's a strong match here now for some of you this could just mean that someone's very stable reliable dependable and um they might be going through a cleanse someone could also be going through a body cleanse they might be just cleansing out their system at this time let's see about this queen of pentacles we have here okay we have a dragon wisdom okay protection the queen of pentacles yeah so either you're the queen or the king of pentacles whichever it is here but you're both very stable doing quite well financially but someone is at this moment it might be the same person that's going through um some shadow work trying to do a cleansing here okay so now with this six we have okay the invocation and the six of pentacles someone's trying to make things balance out in their life time okay time is of the essence here so with the time it's um some might feel pressure they might feel like there's deadlines they might feel like something's passing them by this could also be someone feeling like maybe age has something to do with it. 
someone might be older and say, hey, I have to do something. Now I can't wait forever. Um, and then we have here Summer with the Ace of Wands. Let's see. Trumpet. Okay, now this could be like someone's hearing what they should do. They're hearing their ancestors or they're hearing their guides or the angels. They're getting messages here. It's a spiritual vibration. It's, um could be communication with the departed. But there's some type of awakening coming in here. And it could be happening in the summertime or it's bringing light to a situation. It's inspiration for sure. We have the Ace of Wands. Okay, so now we have here the shadow with the Ten of Swords ending here and also the Knight of Cups. So what's going on with that? Dragon. Protection. Wow, okay. With the dragon, it's, um, it's a lot of power, a lot of strength. It's like uh, courage honor good fortune too so it feels like someone almost feel like someone's facing their demons and by doing so they're they going through and almost feel okay this person the shadow they're going through a dark night of the soul here and they're facing their demons they're going through what they need to go through here to have a better understanding okay so autumn with the eight of swords someone's really in their head about maybe having something to, um, they want to harvest something. They want something to come in. It might be May. They want to have something by autumn time. Hmm. The hag. Oh. Fears. Nightmares. Someone's going through a lot of heavy stuff here. Don't, you know, they're thinking very negative. Because with the hag, it's like um, bizarre or malicious type of energies someone might be dealing with that or someone's almost feels like someone around this person is not very good for them ah, okay let's see power with the a of pentacles the cauldron so this is something magical happening here um Someone might be experimenting with something. This also could bring fertility with the cauldron. So someone is in their power to work something out here, to make something come together. They could be um, building something, being very. They could also be very powerful at work. Some kind of magical energy here. Okay, now for this. You know what I did? I put a queen on the king. That is a king, right? Yeah. <laughs> I grabbed the wrong one. Here's a king of pentacles. Okay. So sometimes it's, you know, it's meant to be. So let's see. Cleansing. King of pentacles. That could actually be a queen. So whatever it is for you. Let's see. Moth. Ooh. This is a transformation. This is really someone. It, it feels like someone's very much attracted to you, like a like you're the you're the light, you're the flame, and they're attracted to you. They're coming towards you. They they can't resist you. Major transformation. <clears throat> you know, this is also like a moth that keeps on coming around, coming around. It could also be like a cling type of energy. I also it could be something at night too. Something happening at night. Okay, <clears throat> now. The ethos and the seven of cups. Oh, this one pop. Let's see. We have the fish. Okay, if someone is trying to get pregnant, this is definitely saying this could be a pregnancy here. Uh, it's good fortune. Also, could be someone suspicious of someone's um, what they're doing here. We have the seven of cups, which is you know you have many options, but they're not all going to be good. There could be shady dealings. Is like don't believe everything you see. You know it might be something else in that cup than you see. On it might be something on top of that cup, but the underneath there might be something else. Ooh, it's starting to thunder. <clears throat> okay, so um, 
yeah, uh, it's also unconscious thoughts. This fish has some serious teeth, too. It's like a vampire fish. Okay. So, yeah, I'm just getting... I think you have different... Um, I would say you have different morals than this other person that's coming towards you. It's um, your ethics, your... Um, your virtue and there's there's gonna be choices so you're gonna make sure that you're you're not someone's not trying to scam you or bring you into something you don't want to be in okay what about this incub in incubation this someone's trying to uh, manifest something here wheel of fortune divine timing let's see <clears throat> octopus well that's interesting uh, so there could be some kind of entanglement. Someone could be multitasking. I don't know. For some of you, I feel like someone's trying to drag you into something. This is not going to be for everyone. Someone's trying to drag someone into something that they don't want to go into. But see, and it might be like there's two. Or someone has two. They're, they're into too many different things. You know, they're multitasking. Um, it could be greed, too. 44. It's a master number, I would say, but 8 is like abundance. 8 is work. 8 is yeah, money. I feel like there's something about someone's trying to manifest something. They might be trying to manifest things in, in many different ways. Or I see, you, know, when you have the Seven of Cups here and we have the Octopus. I feel like there's many choices, many ways, or many things going on. And it is also Octopus, so highly intelligent too. And I'm getting that, you know, like how the octopus, the, you know, they could be grabbing onto something here. And meanwhile, they're working on something else, too. And you're not aware of their other, what their other tentacles are doing. They're in many places doing many things. And it's like, okay, maybe they might be incubating something here. But they also have something incubating someplace else. And you know what? For some of you, not for all of you, maybe, maybe, you know, maybe one or two. With the fish car, pregnancy, and octopus incubation, there could be someone that has multiple people pregnant here are you involved with nick cannon <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry i take that back <laughs> okay what about remembrance and the hierophant let's see stick 25 hmm so you might be trying to Someone's trying to reach out to you, with, but you might be trying to do something on your own. You, maybe you're remembering someone's trying to hold something over on you. I mean, the stick is almost like the Ace of Wands, but it also could be like um, someone being a little controlling. Power, abuse. We did have the power card here. Okay, on the bottom deck, we have the owl. Hmm. Well, as soon as I pulled this up, it's like, I looked at it, it's like, be wise. So with the owl, it's, um, this is ancient knowledge. It's your intuition. There might be some kind of mystery, something, definitely knowledge. And, um, Keen observation and being able to see things around you. Uh, you know, like the, the owl can turn their head all the way around. So you're going to be more aware of things around you. That And I also feel like it's something maybe someone else can't see, but you can see. Okay, so now let's see what the word is. We have here the Knight of Cups. Love. Caring. Sexual. Okay, so this Knight of Cups cares about you very deeply and they want to try to fix things they want to come back in then they want to get sexual now what about this king of pentacles now we have the king and queen of pentacles we have likely excited never hmm it almost feels like this person is very much excited but they don't show it okay now the queen of pentacles
a tower confused keep some money okay so something's gonna happen out of the blue either you're the queen of pentacles or so this might be coming towards you or this might be something you do and some kind of action some kind of change something coming shocking here that confuses someone and someone is supposed to keep the money either you're keeping the money or someone's telling you to keep the money let's see it has maybe something to do with a house money for a house maybe you're married to this person and now you you're separating or breaking off and they're just saying just keep the money for the house or whatever i mean or maybe they're keeping the money for the house. you know whatever way it goes for you guys it's gonna be different for everyone but alchemy here someone is actually manifesting something pretty good here there's wisdom i think you're doing quite well if you're not doing well financially you will be soon okay let me just um see what signs we could be working with what are the signs gemini Oops. Sagittarius. I like that you came out first. Well, oh, these are getting kind of stuck. They don't want to go back in either. Gemini. It's like this signs come out, but they don't want to go back in. <laughs> Capricorn. Cancer and Aries. Okay, so this could be placement, your chart, placement, other people's chart, past, present, and future. We have Gemini, Sagittarius, Gemini, Capricorn, Cancer, and Aries. Now we'll do the letters. We we'll do 11 letters for initials, first name, last name. If you get both someone's initials for the first and last name, and they have a middle name, and you know the middle name, you get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, future, also your own initials. We have O, V, A, Z, B, D, I, J, N Z K. All right. So the letters we have for you today are O V A Z B D I J N Z K. Okay. Now let's do the names. We're gonna do eleven or more names. Let's see what names I'm gonna I'm gonna jump it out. I don't want too many of them. Take a few. Okay, so we have here Hind, H-I-N-D, Rehan, R-E-H-A-N, Jaden, spelled J-A-Y-D-E-N, Christopher, Eduardo, E-D-U-A-R-D-O, Gary, G-A-R-R-Y, and we have Delilah, D-E-L-I-L-A-H, Matthew, Stacy. Penny, Carl, and Laquita, Laquita, L-A-Q-U-I-T-A. Twelve, okay, twelve names. All right, guys, so those are names. Remember, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. I love to read your comments. If it does not resonate, check out your other placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Something might resonate with you more. And when your other placements, that might give you that perfect fit there, that, that link that you're looking for, the missing part of the puzzle. Also, don't forget that end of each one of my readings that I do for you, I have the link to the previous reading in case you missed it and you want to see that one. So it should be right over here on the screen somewhere. Just click on that thumbnail. I'll take you right to that the previous reading, which was the bonus love readings for the second half of July. All right, guys, I love you so much. I appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.